Hey guys, it's Melanie, back with another hydroponic research episode of Growers Notebook. Today, we're talking about water quality. Let's dive right into it. Water is all around us. We're made mostly of it. It's the building block of life, and it's an essential component of photosynthesis. The thing is, not all water is created equal. What's in it and where it comes from can play a big role on how your nutrients react in solution. There are a few key characteristics to consider about your water. Let's begin by understanding the difference between hard and soft water. Tap or municipal water can vary widely from one city to the next. Researching your city's water quality reports can help you understand what minerals are already present in the water coming out of your faucet. If unavailable or using well water, sending out a sample for independent lab analysis would be highly recommended before mixing fertilizer into solution. Water is an excellent solvent. When you turn on your faucet and water pours from the spout, there's a chance it's traveled quite a distance to get there and picked up some minerals along the way. The white calcified buildup around the faucet is a sure indicator that you've got hard water. And while those picked up deposits can be annoying, they don't necessarily mean that the water is harmful to you or your plants. In fact, hard water usually indicates the presence of calcium and magnesium which we've learned are secondary macronutrients important for facilitating several functions of photosynthesis. Filtering out these dissolved minerals can be counterproductive and unnecessarily wasteful, especially if your water composition simply consists of viable macronutrients. One downside to mixing nutrients with hard water is the potential for a reaction to a fertilizer that doesn't take those dissolved mineral levels into consideration. The result can be the formation of precipitates that pull nutrition out of solution into undissolved particles that can't make it to your plants. Luckily, hydroponic research has developed a base formula specifically for this application, Veg Plus Bloom Tap Hard. This formulation considers the higher mineral levels of most tap water and makes sure that you get the most out of your nutrient solution if you decide to feed your plants with hard water. Conversely, some growers will find that filtering for a soft water supply is their best option and prefer to use a reverse osmosis system to produce water stripped down into a pure form. For these growers, Hydroponic Research created Veg Plus Bloom RO Soft, a powder-based design to provide complete nutrition when added to water with no existing mineral composition. We've got our water supply and selected the appropriate base nutrient. So what's next? Once we've determined our water type and corresponding nutrients, we need to figure out how concentrated of a solution to mix. We've heard of a few ways to measure this. Parts per million, micro siemens, conductivity factor, total dissolved solids. So what's the difference? Essentially, these are all methods of measuring the same thing, electric conductivity. This measurement, referred to as EC, tells us the amount of dissolved minerals in solution. PPM, or parts per million, is another commonly used metric in hydroponics and is determined by simply multiplying the known EC by either 500 or 700, depending on what scale you're using. Ultimately, the EC will tell us the total amount of dissolved minerals available to our plants. This value will vary depending on the time in the plant's life cycle. For example, generally speaking, a lower EC for seedlings and cuttings is required and incrementally increasing throughout the vegetative and generative phases and decreasing again once it's time to flush before harvesting. Fortunately, hydroponic research has conveniently created a calculator that will consider your water type and media and provide a general schedule for combining your nutrients. This chart will determine how much of each input to add to each growth phase and what your target EC should be in the reservoir. 
Check the description below for a link to our nutrient calculator. For a full story of the impact EC has on your plants, and depending on the sophistication of your tools, electric conductivity can and should be measured in the water supply, in your mixed nutrient reservoir, at the root zone, and in the irrigation runoff. Learning how your plants react to different levels of EC by recognizing signs of toxicity and deficiency will help you get closer to dialing in a successful fertilizer program. Once the ideal concentration of nutrients in your reservoir is established, an equally important parameter is pH. pH is an acronym for potential hydrogen and indicates the amount of hydrogen ions in a substance. In hydroponics, we use this measurement to determine the degree of alkalinity or acidity in an aqueous solution. The pH scale is from 0 to 14, starting with the most acidic to the most alkaline. Pure water is neutral, with a pH measuring at 7.0. Why is this so fundamental to understanding plant health? The chart here shows the different nutrients and their availability at different levels of acidity. Soil has natural properties that will buffer solutions into a functional pH range, which is slightly acidic at 6.5 in most cases. Again, depending on the limitation of your measurement tools, the full story of the pH in your garden can be taken at the same points that EC is measured and reveal issues that might otherwise be overlooked. For example, a pH level growing more acidic in the runoff can often signal pathogens or harmful bacteria present in the root zone. Hydroponic substrates are often inert and require monitoring reservoir solutions to maintain an ideal pH value. While our plants can sustain a pH range anywhere from 5.0 to 7.0 without severe damage, a more specific range of 5.5 to 6.2 offers the widest range of nutrient availability and will contribute most to robust plant growth. Anything outside of these parameters means too few or too many hydrogen ions present in solution. This can result in hydrogen and hydroxyl ions reacting with nutrients and forming precipitates unavailable to your plants. This is a leading cause of deficiencies commonly referred to as a nutrient lockout. Hydroponic Research has developed a proprietary formula designed to help maintain an ideal acidic solution in your nutrient reservoir. Introducing Flow, the latest innovation from the team at Hydroponic Research. With a pH measuring at 2.0, Flow is an extremely concentrated acidic solution capable of reducing the pH of your reservoir with very small amounts. Recommended application rates are only 0.5 to 2 milliliters per gallon. A little certainly goes a long way. Flow will also contribute to significantly reducing biofilm and keeping irrigation systems clean without the use of chlorines or hypochloric acid. This breakthrough formula will do all this without adding minerals to your solution and isn't as abrasive as other commonly used products seeking the same objectives. Ask your local retailer for availability or pick some up online at hydroponicresearch.com. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Growers No Fuck. Join us again next time when we talk about different grow mediums and how feeding your plants might vary from one substrate to the next. So like and subscribe and hit that notification button to stay up to date with the latest episodes. And don't forget to leave a comment below about what topics or information you might want us to go over in the series. I'm Melanie and thank you for watching Growers Notebook.